Hello friends welcome to a new episode of bikini and lingerie review the purpose of this channel is to help you in selecting the best bikini or lingerie for you or for your partner based on the design material used and comfort as always we came up with nine set of bikinis in this video and in the last we will choose the best one for you if you are new here don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on all notifications so that you can get the latest videos as soon as they will be uploaded also please subscribe to the channels of these lovely ladies for which links can be found in descriptions Thanks and keep enjoying and do let me know what next you want to see. Okay. So this is the first one. This is the orange the orange bikini and I actually really like this one. I just I don't know how to put this like Oh, it's cold. And then I guess you just like tie it. Okay. This is so cute. Um, I had a feeling that the color would look good on me, and I do think that the color looks good on me. Orange is my favorite color. This is so pretty. Also, like the material and the quality is really good. Like this has the padding and everything, so I do like feel really confident and comfortable. This is what the back looks like, which I also think is really cute. I love this little skirt. I love the coverage of this bikini. I literally think this is so cute. I also think that it looks really good with my um, my little fairy tattoo. Let me know what you guys think about this bikini, but I really like this. I think this is so cute. I love the skirt. I love the coverage. The material feels really good. I feel really secure. And I literally cannot wait to take this with me to Cancun. Like, this is adorable. known for their super unique styles. I love this one. I think this is so different and great for anything summertime, spring, summertime, wherever you want to go. I think it's so unique and so flattering. I think it's really, really nice. So it kind of has like a bit of a cheeky thong, so it's not really a super slender thong. It just wears like that on me. But I really like the top up here, how it's kind of like, it has mesh here, so it's not completely solid. You can't actually see through just a little bit, but I do like it as kind of like a crop top and I love the little ring features here to kind of, you know, accentuate and show off your tummy and everything. So I think this would be really great for, again, spring and summertime. You could totally put a pair of jeans right here, like a little like mid or high waist jeans, and this could be a really cute top, kind of treat it like a one piece or something like that. I think it's just really cute. I think you can totally wear it anywhere. Put a cute little cover up over it. I just paired it with a pair of my shoes. If you saw my recent shoe haul <laughs> from Public Desire, you would see these. They're so cute and I think they're just great for, you know, outside. <laughs> I actually got myself, I got this in a size large. Obviously it is all connected, so it is one piece. Um, but this is a, I'm sorry, it's a size medium. <laughs> Um, I really am glad that I got it. I think it fits very, very well. I obviously bathing suits there, they tend to stretch a little bit, but I, I've always been a little weary about the ones that don't tie on the side. And thinking, okay, well, if it doesn't tie on the side, it might not fit my hips. So, but I'm actually really glad with the way this one is shaped, and it kind of sits high up on the hips. I was able to afford a medium, and I was able to go over my hips. Would 
material feels like kind of a basic swimwear material. I'm a little hesitant about this white line. So I also wanted to size up in these bottoms because they are adjustable on the sides. So you can kind of just get a little bit more coverage with this. I still don't like risking it. You know, I like to be able to move in my swimsuits and stay contained. So there's these little ring details and just hard to see until we actually put it on. So I really wanted this to work because the color is so cute, but I, I'm literally a millimeter away from a slip happening. So um, I'm gonna take out the cup pads, see if I can do anything. I also would just like to mention that I don't really think I could size up much more in this top. I'm already in the large. And if I size up any more, I barely have any more room to tighten the back knot before I start interfering with the straps here. So I kind of knew this wouldn't be super large cup size friendly, but we all have hopes and dreams of, you know, fitting into the cute little swim tops. Let's take out the cup pads and see. Okay, so I took out the cup pads, I tightened the straps a little bit, and it's better. But again, an underwire swim top is just never going to fit everyone perfectly because most bras that are underwire have to go from like 32 to 34 to 36 and like A, B, C, D, et cetera. So when you just have like small, medium, large, it's never really gonna fit everyone. So this underwire should be a little bit further back on me and I'm definitely coming out over here and I wouldn't feel very comfortable wearing this top. For my smaller cup size ladies, um, if you feel like this is enough coverage for you, it's a super cute top. I I love the material. I love that it's not a halter and instead it's an adjustable spaghetti strap and you also have the option of adjusting the strap in the back. So far from a bad swimsuit, actually super cute and I'm liking the material and the quality and everything, just not going to be a large cup size choice. I think she had two swim tops, maybe three this launch. And I just didn't really feel like any of them would be a perfect fit for my bus. You might ask, why did you buy this one? If you think it wouldn't have enough space, just by the time I shopped, there really weren't a lot of options on the website. So I would potentially try again another time and maybe find one that fits a little better. But for now, it's not gonna be for me. Okay, and here are the bottoms. These are size small. I actually really like side tie bottoms. I know that they can come undone and everything, but I just love how adjustable they are. Little metal detail is super cute, although this is something that could get hot in the sun, so be careful of that. Super cheeky in the back, definitely thong coverage, but sometimes I can be down for that. At least you know that they're gonna stay put because it's already up there. Like the fabric can't collect between the cheeks if it's already there. So I actually think that the back fits really well um, and it's a nice design. I like that I was able to pull this up and over my hip bones with no problem. So these definitely are like a high leg cut swimsuit. Um, I don't feel like it has a ton of front coverage, not quite as much as the Abercrombie ones. So I'm gonna go with medium front coverage. So if you are a little bit on the wider side, I would be careful. And I think I'm gonna say low to mid rise for these. So yeah, the bottoms are cute. I think sizing is pretty flexible since you can tie this. I wouldn't size up too much though, cause you eventually might get some gaping fabric in places, but I think you can definitely size up at least one size for a little extra. Okay. This one is definitely like the most extra, I would say. I also do worry about like how low the bikini is cut. I feel like that's kind of, a problem also the same thing with the blue bikini like the back honestly just kind of does not cover everything that i wish it did like i do still think that it's like a cute bikini but i just feel like i don't have a lot of faith in the bikini to keep me in the bikini start off this particular one with a really really cute cover-up that it came, that I got. I really really like, I think it's just different, it's obviously very sheer, but I do kind of like these little like beads that it has around it and I'm just kind of take this off. Super cute, super simple, just something to lightly Something to lightly throw over your bikinis. And then onto this super cute yellow bikini. 
I love how it has, again, icon, very different. I love this little cutout here with some extra little straps there. Not really one for like a tanning bikini, but I think it's just super cute. Definitely one if you want to turn heads in. And I love the ones where they have the little ties on the side and it kind of feeds all the way through. So it is, you can stretch it out or make it more narrow as you so choose. And it does go all the way through on both sides. So I think that's great. You can, again, you can stretch it out or make it more narrow. So the bikini bottoms like this are actually great for tanning, um, aside from the little <laughs> ties here. But I think overall, this is a really, really cute bikini. I love the color. I think it's perfect for just being out in the sun. And again, I think it pairs perfectly with a cute little pair of the nude, <laughs> you know, block heels that you have that any girl might have, or like a nude wedge, anything like that. I think they would pair very, very nicely. So overall, I think this is super cute. And this actually does come as a set, and I did get it sized medium, and I'm so glad I did. Again, with the ones that tie on the side, I think it's really easier to afford for a smaller size, depending on how big you are up top, especially if the bikinis do come in one whole set like this one does. So I'm a little bit more focused on how big the top is versus how big the bottom is, especially because these tie the side. I wouldn't need to necessarily get a large just so these would fit because a medium is perfectly fine. So a large might not fit my top as well. So I'm really glad. And I do kind of like this little under boob here. <laughs> I think it's cute. All right, next brand, Frankie's Bikinis. I had heard about Frankie's Bikinis years ago. Someone was like, oh yeah, I got my swimsuit from Frankie's Bikinis. So I was like, oh, let me just like look on the website. $100 for one single top, and then you have to buy the bottom. So you're looking at spending $200 on a suit. They're small little suits. I just, I just don't get, I just don't get how such little fabric can cost so much. Size range for Frankie's is also extra small to 2XL. Seems like that's kind of the basic size range for these brands so far. And I wanted to get a suit that was part of like the Gigi Hadid x Frankie's collection. She had some super cute stuff on there that wasn't quite available yet, like had these little cherries on it. And I, I love a good cherry print. It was super cute. It wasn't available yet. And I wanted to do this one more review sooner rather than later. So we got the toile print. So this is the Scarlet Bralette top in the Yomi toile blue. It's this super cute, delicate print, which I actually used to have bedding when I was growing up. That was a blue toile print that my mom actually made me herself. So it was a little, little bit nostalgic. Here's the print. It's got this cute little deer on it. So adorable. And it's the GGX Frankie's collection. So we've got GF, not for gluten-free. So a lot of the collection kind of looked a little more like lingerie underwear to me more than swimwear, but we'll give it a try. I got this in a size medium. I think that's where their size chart put me. It is a double lined suit, but there are no removable cup pads. So I would worry about nippage, especially in a white based print like this. I just feel like it's a little bit risky to not have cup pads. Quality feels great. Um, I'm really liking the feel of this material. It's really soft. You have this little like lace type lining here, adjustable straps and a regular like bra hook closure in the back which I kind of prefer the little like hook closure that the Abercrombie ones had, but at least you still do have some adjustability. The only thing is that this little bra hook thing doesn't feel super soft. And then we got the Dawson Cheeky Bottoms in the same blue print. I also got this in a medium. I think their size chart was just putting me at a medium, so I didn't want to risk it. Same material. I'm really liking the material and you have the little lace top looks like somewhat thicker coverage for the lips down here and their their hygiene liner is also like very thin it's like almost like a thong shaped liner so it's not really covering even most of the swimsuit here so you should always wash your swimwear before you actually like go about wearing it but this is one that i would like definitely wash and there's also a seam down the back of the suit which i feel like will help settle it into the glutes a little bit and maybe maybe add some separation instead of diaper butt it has now reached 84 degrees in uh, my little office here i truly am dying okay so here's the top this is a size medium i just really don't feel like this top provides any sort of shape support it's just really not even flattering like i'm wearing a size medium here i really think that the print is super cute this bralette shape is just not doing anything for me and i don't really know who it would do anything for um the little lace detail is cute i'm clearly spilling out of it a lot so again not large cup size friendly even though i did size up to a medium 
The straps are super thin and kind of cutting into me. I could loosen them a little bit, but I, I kind of need a little bit of lift as well. And then they have the little bra hook closure in the back. Again, just because this hook closure really looks like it's from a bra, not like a swimsuit, this just gives me more like lingerie underwear vibes than swimsuit. The material does feel like a swimsuit though, but I just don't think that this is a flattering shape. There are no cut pads. You are gonna get some nippage as well. Um, it does seem to be opaque in this white. I don't think that that is going to be an issue. They use a pretty dense fabric. This top just isn't for me and I certainly wouldn't be spending $100 on it. In terms of coverage, I guess like low to medium coverage and there's just, there's no support. Okay, here are the bottoms. I got a medium in these bottoms and they are like really cutting into me. And all the other bottoms I tried today were a small and literally didn't cut into me at all. So these bottoms run super small, like size up probably two sizes. And I just don't really feel like they are super flattering in the front too. I am just interested in a swimsuit that is going to make my legs look long and you know, it's just gonna fly me. And I just feel like this makes me look very boxy and it's cutting in on the sides. It's giving me like little love handles that I really don't feel like I, I have too much. We're gonna go with a low to mid rise. I guess this is decent coverage in the front. I'm gonna still say like medium to full coverage, not like full full, kind of like a mid to low rise on the leg. And I do really like the back. Um, that seam in the middle and the seamless edge along the side just kind of has some fit like a cheeky bottom. It's just kind of hugging the right places. It's not kind in along here. Um, so we're gonna go with cheeky coverage, but I do really like how the back of this fits. It's just super tight along the top, along this little like lace part. I don't know if that's the issue or if Frankie's just runs super small in general, but yeah, I would not be paying almost $200 for a swimsuit that is not gonna flatter my body very well. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just not really feeling it. I even tried to pick a swimsuit that I thought was like gonna be kind of cute because they had a lot of options, but I'm just, I'm just not feeling this. So this is the metallic one, and I actually think that this one is so cute. I think it's so shiny. I love like the purple blue metallic bikini vibe. The back is pretty, um, what is it called? Like you can see my whole ass. What is that called? I don't know, whatever. Yeah, my butt is out. The butt is out, I can't really turn around because it's a thong, but the front is really, really cute. I love the bra, it has the wiring, so it does help to give that like pushed up effect to make it look like you have boobs, if you're like me and you have really small boobs. And then I do think that the bottom is really cute. I also like how tight it is, so I don't feel like it's gonna come off in the ocean or anything like that. Um, and the back, again, like I really can't show you because it's a thong. But this bathing suit I think is really, really cute and I would give it like an eight out of 10 um, just because of how tight it is. But that's, that's it. I just, I don't know, I really like it. I love the color. I've never had like a, I've never had a metallic bikini before so I do think it's really cute. But I really like how shiny it is. are different, not, again, not a really, not a tanning bikini, but I do love that the straps are different. It just offers something different. It really, really lent, lends itself to not being regular. So it is kind of like a simple top here, but I do like that the straps are you know, spaghetti on this side, a little thicker on this side with the ring. I think that's super cute. Again, the colors, great. And the bottoms are just a bit different. They are a thong, kind of like a wider thong, a bit more fabric there. But I do like these little cutouts here. I think that's actually a really nice detail. Super cute. I do like that. I think this one is actually very, a little bit more along the simple side, but I really don't mind it because the colors are so 
vibrant. <laughs> I really, really do like it. And again, this, I bought this one in a size medium. I believe all of them actually came in one whole set. You don't buy them separately. But I'm glad that I came with a, I went with a medium. I do like the way these do stretch a bit and are able to just kind of sit on my hips nicely. They do roll a little bit, which that's okay. And I do love the way the top fits me. I think it fits me perfectly. And the last brand that we are trying today is Skatey. I hadn't heard of them. Um, I think they might be Australian. Nope, just kidding. It says California. Maybe there's another brand that was Australian. So I thought they had a lot of really fun prints and I liked that their website, they had kind of like a fit guide. It would tell you like the coverage and like cup sizes that would work best for each top as well as the coverages of all of the bottoms. So I just felt like that made the website kind of easy to navigate. Pricing is pretty high for this one as well. The bottoms that I got were 70 and the top was 65. So you are gonna spend around 130 to 150 on a swimsuit. The bags here are a biodegradable material. So I got the Kelly bottoms in the color Bonsai. And here we go, this is a seamless swimsuit bottom. So let me show you how that works. So this is the inside of the swimsuit. This is the outside. And as you can see, there's no seam like there was for the Abercrombie or the other bottoms. So you just have this seamless. And as you can see, it just kind of like rolls easily and it prevents the swimsuit from cutting into you, like creating a little double butt situation. But I find that they don't stay in place quite as well. So all about personal preference. Personally, I do just prefer having that seam, but I'm glad that we are reviewing a couple different options today. So here are the bottoms. These definitely look like a shape that I would like. Not too high rise and definitely a high cut leg line. And the hip coverage here is pretty small as well, which I do like. They do have those hygiene liners and looks like a pretty, some pretty decent coverage down here. And these will probably be like a low to medium coverage. And I just thought this print was so fun and summery. They're also made out of recycled polyester. Then I got the lacy top. So this top said it was more aimed at the ladies with bigger girls. So I was definitely drawn to that. So I did get a small and it's inspired by the shape of a halter top, but they used like a bra strap to help you like adjust the sizing instead of having to actually tie the swimsuit. And I definitely prefer something like this to adjust it instead of an actual tie because there's no question about, you know, losing your suit in the ocean or the pool or anything. So I just feel a little bit more secure. Um, it's also double lined here. It's all seamless, but there are no cup pads, no spacing for cut pads so I probably would choose a more busy print to prevent any nippage from going on and here is the back of the suit as well okay I actually feel like this top is decent for a larger cup size it actually has a decent amount of space here I got the small which fits me really well along the band so I would definitely choose the size based on your rib cage measurement and then it's just a full seamless suit the only thing I wish is that it did have some cup pads I just feel like adding cup pads gives me a a little more shape it just holds me in a little bit better I don't know it's just it's not feeling the most luxurious it's definitely a nice suit and I don't have any like specific issues with the quality but it, just, it doesn't really like feel like a luxurious material it's honestly so hard to tell when I feel like affordable suits these days have such nice materials I will say it's like a little hard to choose where you should be you can kind of like adjust yourself more in there and I feel like I get a little bit of side boob or you can kind of bring in the cleavage a little bit you don't have as much side boob, but I have a little bit of spillage there. Either way, I do feel like I could do activities in this top and not fall out of it. Um, I'm gonna give it a medium coverage overall. And I really like that it has the halter shape, like they said, but then you just have the adjustable sliding clasp, which I just haven't seen in a lot of swimsuits. And I really like that they have it on this one. And with like a classic tie swimsuit, you can't like lie down on it comfortably because you have a big knot in the back. In this one, there's no knots or anything uncomfortable that would prevent you from lying down, you know, lounging on the beach. So definitely a very comfortable swimsuit, but you're still at risk for nippage because this material is really not that thick and there are no cup pads. So if you get out of the pool and it's cold, there might be a little situation happening. All right, here are the bottoms. Solid mid-rise, love that. Excellent coverage in the front. You're definitely not losing a lip anywhere. So solid full coverage. And this is a seamless bottom and I feel like I'm already kind of getting a little bit of rolling situation in the back. In terms of back coverage, we're gonna go with a light medium. Um, I just feel like with these kind of seamless suits, they just tend to collect 
into the crease a little bit more, which isn't necessarily a problem, but you know, it's there. So light to medium coverage, definitely a high leg line as well. Honestly, for me, you know, it's there's no, there's no leg line too high. So they could even be a little bit higher, but that's just me personally. I'm not getting any cutting in anywhere. I would definitely say that these are true to size. I am wearing a size small and overall a very comfortable bottom that I feel like I could function in without having any problems. So I haven't had any swimsuits today that were just totally awful, not able to function in. So yeah, they've all been pretty. So friends, depending on the material, design, fit and finish, we choose this bikini as a winner for today's try on haul. Do let me know which one is your favorite.